Hey, my name is Jake Sloan, and today we're going to talk about the Deity S Mic 2S. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake Sloan, and I make content here on YouTube all about helping solo creators like myself who are out there creating videos largely by themselves. So I do gear reviews and I do tips and tutorials about how to make that process easier. Now in the interest of full disclosure, Deity did send these microphones to me, but they're not paying me to make this video. Um, I reached out to Deity a few months back and asked them if they'd be willing to partner with me in a project that I've been wanting to do for a long time, which was go out to a glacier with a pair of good microphones and record it and record the sounds of a glacier because glaciers make interesting sounds. But to do that, I needed a microphone that one, had very low self noise and two, could handle very loud sounds because glacier noises can range anywhere from extremely quiet, almost inaudible, to extremely loud to where you feel it resonate inside of your body. Big iceberg that just broke somewhere over there. It was loud. It sounds like a gunshot or cannon fire going off every time. It's awesome. The other thing that I look for in a microphone, especially in what I'm doing, stuff like this, is uh, not only that it's quiet, it has low self noise, that it produces good quality audio, but also that it is small, compact, and can withstand a lot of things that I throw at it because I am careful with my equipment, but uh, what I do is not necessarily careful with me or my equipment, if that makes any sort of sense. When I reached out to DD and asked them if they would send me a pair of S Mic 2s to record uh, the sounds of a glacier with my Mix Pre, they asked me if I'd be willing to wait until they had a new, smaller, compact S Mic, um, which is this one here. And so, here it is the S-Mic 2S from DD. So could we just start off with the fact that I love the fact that when they send a microphone like this that is supposed to be used out in the field for broadcast purposes, uh, that they include a really good hard plastic carrying case that is weather sealed when it's locked because in my case, weather sealing is fantastic and it's absolutely necessary for what I do. They include a windscreen, which works fairly well, but if you're gonna be out in high winds, you'll probably wanna get one of the other recommended dead cats that they recommend on their site. I've linked one that I use down below. They also include a mic clip. And then of course, there is the S-Mic 2S itself, which is quite compact. Now the S-Mic 2S, like its bigger brother, is made out of brass, so and it's also very highly weather resistant. The self noise on it is a little bit higher at 15 dB as compared to its bigger brother at 12 dB, but it's still very, very low. And I found that the audio quality of this thing is extremely clear and extremely crisp. There are a couple of tiny little bumps in the mid range, but it's really easy to deal with those in post with EQ. Um, but I have found the audio qualities to be very, very nice. It's fairly focused in the front. It doesn't pick up much from the sides and it has a, maybe a tiny bit of pickup from the back, but you really won't notice it much at all. I'm extremely impressed with these microphones. They have a very nice sound quality. They're very usable in the field and they're very usable indoors even as a dialogue mic. For example, now we're in my studio. The microphone is right here. It's about 18 inches away from my mouth. Uh, this room is fairly well treated because it is my studio, but I've used this to record a couple of podcasts. I've used this to record a couple of different locations for commercial shoots, even fairly echoey locations or fairly noisy locations, and the mic has worked really, really well. I wouldn't hesitate to use it on any upcoming shoots. I think in any case where you're going to be in a really noisy environment or a really echoey environment, a, a lapel or lavalier mic is going to be the best way to go, but for any other audio, I've found this mic to be excellent and absolutely usable. Now I'm not going to get into the really in-depth sound quality. You can watch somebody like Curtis Judd. I'll link a video of his right up here um, if you want to go into absolute in-depth and in the technical aspects of this microphone because he's really good at putting those out there and really good at comparing this with other really expensive microphones. What I'm interested in is how well this microphone can record in a location like this when I want to record the sounds of a glacier and especially when I'm fighting things like wind and weather. We're gonna go set up on a rock over there and we're gonna record the sounds of a glacier for a while. Now, recording a glacier is very interesting because it's a very long process if you're going to do it right. If I don't get anything good today, it's something I'll have to come back and try again later. A glacier is a really slow moving river of ice and everything happens really, really slowly 
until it doesn't. As soon as one of those big pieces breaks off, that happens really fast. And um, you don't want to be in the way when it does. A huge piece of the glacier just fell off and I just missed it. And that's how you record a glacier using the new Deity S-Mic 2S, which is a fantastic microphone from Deity, especially for stuff like this. I couldn't imagine anything better. Uh, Deity, thank you so much for partnering with me on this. It has been a blast and uh, I really appreciate it. If you wanna watch other reviews about audio equipment that can help you, you can click or tap right here. If you wanna see other technology that I use as a solo creator, you can click or tap right here. I'll see you in one of those videos. As always, Reach out to me on Instagram, Twitter, or ask questions below. Didi, thank you for sending these out. I'm very impressed by these amazing microphones. Cheers.